one cool detail that I liked was that Sam has actually been reaching out to Bucky, that he's been sending him texts. What is he been texting? What do Sam's texts to Bucky look like? Hey, did you kill anybody today? <laughs> that might actually be be the text that he would get. <laughs> the actual in <in-can- laughs> That's great. Couple people getting together this Sunday for a little fishing trip. Just saying, if you're up for anything. Man, if you're up for it, I'll buy the shrimp. <laughs> so we're partners, co-workers. Not necessarily a team. No. We look damn good, though. When you guys first found out that this series was happening, what was it about uh, Sam and, and uh, Bucky that you just really wanted to emphasize in your performance? And did you also have any specific requests for what you wanted the story to be? I don't know if we get a lot of those special <laughs> special requests uh, that were that were asked, uh, but I think we're. I don't know. I mean, speaking for me, I was just grateful that we get the continuation of what you know the story is. And quite frankly, I, I think this is you know what we discovered with the show was the most interesting storyline, to be honest. Which is you know why I feel like. Kevin always knows what's best, you know, and and we just follow the ride, you know, we're, we're in for the ride. And, um, uh, but I think we just wanted to focus on that dynamic and make sure we finally gave it the proper chance, you know? Well, I mean, to speak about that dynamic, I mean, I loved in Civil War when you guys just had this relationship where you were both best friends with the same guy and that caused a bit of conflict. I'm curious just though, like now that Steve isn't in the picture as much, is that has like the tension between your characters evolved? Is it different? No, it's it's more so our relationship uh, grew out of uh, our appreciation for Steve, um, and that's kind of where it started and ended. Um, you know, Bucky and uh, Sam they have a mutual understanding and respect for each other. There's no admiration, so you know that's the uh, that's the evolution of the two men in their role in the MCU. What's going on in that cyborg brain of yours? Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God, I hate you. Look at it now. You're never gonna stop. We got a taste of their uh, characters in the first episode, but from your experience working with them, I'm wondering what you can just tease the audience about uh, Wyatt Russell and uh, Aaron Kellyman's characters. Oh, man. Um, there's a lot more. They're the to... exact op. I, they work so well because they're the exact opposite of us. Everything that makes us fly, swaglicious, cool, sexy, they are the Canadian version <laughs> of that. They are the exact, <laughs> the exact opposite of us. Basically, upstanding, dependable people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's what he's saying. <laughs> um.